Okay, this is going to be my first ever unboxing video. And today I'm going to unbox the USS Ticonderoga CV-14. This is a model made by Atlantis. And apparently this was a re-release. And uh, this model is special to me because my father actually served on this aircraft carrier in the Vietnam War era. And what he did was he was a co-pilot on the A3B, which apparently this model includes these three jets, the F9F, the VFP 61 DET MF 9F 8P Cougar. I'm not familiar with this one. And then of course the A3B. So let's get started with this unboxing video. Go ahead and set my knife over there. Oh, look. Let's get that out of the way. Ooh, this thing's pretty good sized. What the hell is this? Anyway, this is weird. It's like there's some oil or something on there. Flight deck. This looks pretty good sized. So the problem I had before was the only model I could find for this particular aircraft carrier was world, uh, excuse me, was from the World War II era, which obviously wasn't time period correct for what my dad served on. And here we've got the lower hull. This thing is, if you can't tell, pretty massive. This is a one five hundredth scale. And this is the Atlantis Modeling Company, which I've never heard of. Apparently this, like I said already, was a re-release. So my cutting mat is 15 inches. And as you can see, it extends well off of this mat. So it looks like this hole is close to 19 inches long, give or take. And that's at the water line. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh. It included a file. That's kind of nice. Apologize if I'm off screen here. Excellent. This is listed as pound 1500 coarse. So I'm assuming it's not 1500 grit, but that's cool. Okay. What else do we have in here? Some decals. These look pretty nice. Let's see if I can get those in screen. Got all the... A lot of stuff on there. Okay. So, I'm normally... This is my disclaimer. Normally, I am a model car builder. I don't typically do military... So this is kind of new to me. I'm not quite familiar with all the stuff. I don't know what this is. Signal flags and Morse alphabet cut out. Dampen and fold for rigging. Hopefully there's something in the instructions to that effect of what that's actually used for. So I'm going to build this for my father as a surprise which I think he'll appreciate. Step one, looks like you've got your waterline stuff. We'll just kind of quickly go through this. I'm not gonna explain much here. You know, prop, blah, blah, blah. This looks like it goes together kind of like a Ravel kit where I'm assuming these letters represent the color you're supposed to paint the items. That's my assumption anyway. Um, you know, even though it's a, a relatively large kit, there's not a lot of parts to it. I think the box said something around the lines of 150 or so. So, pretty doable. Shouldn't be too time consuming. We'll see. All the various jets. The 
control tower. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. But like I said, I am not typically a military model builder. I generally build cars. So I'm doing this because my dad served on this aircraft carrier, which I know I already said, and I apologize for that. I've had a few beers and, uh, Honestly, I could use some more. Anyways, I think I'll give a quick shout out. My nice bench made pint glass. And inside is some sort of a delicious IPA. I don't remember which. Pardon me while I take a quick sip. Ah, that was delicious. Okay. So I'm hearing a lot of loose parts inside this bag. Good, bad, and different. It is what it is. It happens. This is kind of a mess. Damn. Well, crap. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this into the box because there's a lot of parts that have fallen off the sprues. That's not exactly a good sign. Um, wow. I think there's still... Nope. Might be throwing stuff, might not be throwing stuff. So far, this is not very cool. Set those off to the side. I don't know what they are. I'll have to get to those when I get to them. Everything's all kind of pretty rough. Um, Looking for ejector pin holes and all that good stuff. So far, it looks to be relatively clean. Um, let me see. Not terrible. It's relatively well numbered. I have no idea what any of this is. And I apologize. Like I said, I am not a military model builder. So this is uncharted territory. Yeah, there's stuff I'm probably going to have to sand, fill. We will see. I will build, or excuse me, I will make a build video of this one. Because uh, I want to. So, I'm guessing, and I, I could be wrong, I'm guessing that part that came out of the bag loose was maybe part of the radar dome. I don't know. I would love for someone to tell me what the hell I'm looking at in the comments because I don't know. More stuff here. These look like they're relatively undetailed aircraft. I don't know if that's supposed to be aircraft. I, this is probably too early for cruise missiles. So I'm assuming those are aircraft. Look, more stuff is falling. Cool. This says copyright 2019 and 1960. So this model was released back in 1960. A little bit before I was born. Don't know what that is. That's maybe part of a stand or something. A few more planes. Yeah, there's a nasty sinkhole here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But little guy. Dare I say cute. I said it. There's all this stuff. More jets. I'm assuming that's the A3B. That was a big plane. So, I'm guessing. I don't know. So, this is obviously for the... Um, that part, which I don't know what the hell it's called. I'm sorry. I'm waiting to uh, get in trouble from all of you military geniuses, which I am not... Various other parts inside this box here. I'm going to move my hand out of the way. Looks like there's some more planes. Don't know what this stuff is. Again, 
I'm sure that'll all be outlined inside the instructions, but all in all, um, we'll see. I'm not super impressed by it. However, I didn't have any options for a post World War II era USS Ticonderoga aircraft carrier, not the battleship. That seems to be everywhere. So this is the CV-14, and I'm definitely looking forward to building this. This should be fun. So I want to say thank you, and uh, talk to you soon.